Our journey begins a long, long time ago, about 50 million years ago during the Essene epoch. Back then the world was a very different place. It was warmer, with a tropical climate and lush vegetation. And it was during this time, that the first ancestors of wolves, known as my acids evolved. Now, these my acids went exactly, like the wolves we know today. They were small carnivores, about the size of a weasel. And they lived in trees. That's right. These little creatures scampered around in the branches, hunting small prey like insects and birds. But as time went on and the climate changed, some my acids decided to come down from the trees and live on the ground. This was a big change for them. They had to adapt to new environments and learn to hunt new prey. But they were up to the challenge. And over time, they evolved into larger carnivores that would eventually become the ancestors of wolves. Now, these early wolves weren't exactly like the wolves we know today either. They were more like jackals with long, slender legs and a lean, agile body. They lived in packs and hunted in groups, taking down prey much larger than themselves. But even back then, wolves were already showing signs of their amazing adaptability. As the climate continued to change, some wolves moved into colder regions, growing thicker fur and changing their hunting strategies to take down prey that lived in the snow and ice. And so the evolution of wolves continued. With these magnificent creatures adapting and changing to survive in a world that was constantly in flux, it's truly amazing to think about how far they've come over millions of years of evolution. As our journey through time continues, we now find ourselves around 15,000 years ago. This was a time when humans were starting to settle down and form communities, and they were also starting to domesticate animals for food and other purposes. Now, as you can imagine, Humans and wolves didn't exactly get along at first. Wolves were wild and dangerous, and humans were wary of them. But as humans started to accumulate food and other resources, wolves began to see them as a potential source of food. Over time some wolves started to get closer to human communities, scavenging on the remains of their food, and maybe even following them around as they hunted. And the wolves that were less afraid of humans were the ones that were more successful in obtaining food. So they were the ones that passed on their genes to their offspring. This interaction between humans and wolves marked the beginning of the domestication process. Wolves that were more comfortable around humans were gradually tamed and trained to help humans with various tasks like hunting, herding and guarding. But this was no easy feat. Taming a wild animal like a wolf was a difficult and dangerous task. It required a lot of patience, skill, and trust, both on the part of the human and the wolf. Despite the challenges, some wolves began to live with humans, forming close bonds, and becoming more and more comfortable in their presence. And over time, these wolves began to evolve into something new something that was no longer a wild animal, but a domesticated one. The process of domestication continued for thousands of years, with humans selectively breeding wolves for specific traits that were useful to them. For example, wolves that were good at hunting were bred with other hunting wolves to produce offspring that were even better at it. And as the generations went on, these domesticated wolves became more and more different from their wild ancestors. They became smaller, less aggressive, and more dependent on humans for food and shelter. And so, the evolution of wolves into dogs continued. Shaped by the close relationship between humans and their animal companions, Fast forward to the present day, 
and we see that dogs have come a long way since their wild wolf ancestors. In fact, there are over 300 different breeds of dogs today, each with their own unique characteristics and traits. So how did this incredible diversity come about? Well, it's all thanks to humans and their love for selective breeding. You see, humans have been selectively breeding dogs for thousands of years, choosing which traits to breed for and which to weed out. This has resulted in an incredible variety of dogs, from tiny chihuahuas to giant Great Danes, from fluffy Pomeranians to sleek greyhounds. But the process of selective breeding isn't without its downsides. Some breeds have been bred for specific traits, to the point where it has resulted in health problems. For example, some breeds have been bred to have short snouts, which can lead to breathing problems. Despite these challenges, dogs continue to amaze us with their incredible diversity and adaptability. Some breeds are incredibly intelligent and excel at tasks like herding, search and rescue, and even therapy. Others are bred for their athleticism and excel in sports like agility and flyball. And while all dogs are descended from wolves, some breeds are more closely related to wolves than others. For example, breeds like the Siberian Husky and Alaskan Malamute still have many of the physical and behavioral traits of their wolf ancestors. But no matter what breed of dog you have, they all share one thing in common, a deep love and loyalty for their human companions. Dogs have become an integral part of our lives, providing us with companionship, protection, and endless amounts of joy and laughter. From their humble beginnings as wild wolves, scavenging for fool around human settlements, dogs have come a long way in their relationship with humans. Today, they are often referred to as man's best friend, and for good reason. The bond between humans and dogs is unlike any other animal. Human relationship. Dogs have an incredible ability to sense our emotions and respond to them, whether it's by providing comfort when we're feeling sad or celebrating with us when we're happy. And this bond has evolved over thousands of years. As dogs became domesticated, and began to live with humans, they started to take on new roles and responsibilities. They became protectors, hunters, and even companions. As the relationship between humans and dogs grew closer, so too did the bond between us. We began to rely on them for more than just their physical abilities. We started to depend on them for emotional support as well. In fact, studies have shown that spending time with dogs can have a positive impact on our mental health, reducing stress and anxiety, and even lowering blood pressure. But the bond between humans and dogs is a two-way street. Dogs depend on us just as much as we depend on them. They need us for food, shelter, and love. And in return, they give us their unwavering loyalty and affection. And that loyalty has been put to the test, time and time again. Dogs have been used in wars, to sniff out bombs and weapons, and they have been trained, to assist people with disabilities. They have even been known to risk their own lives, to protect their human companions from danger. So it's no wonder that dogs, hold such a special place in our hearts. They are more than just pets, they are family members, companions and protectors. As the relationship, between humans and dogs continues to evolve. We can only imagine the incredible things that they will accomplish together. But one thing is for sure, the bond between humans and dogs will continue to be a special and unique one, full of love, loyalty, and endless adventures. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the evolution of dogs, and I hope to see you in our next video soon.